Warning, this video contains even more Mario to Plumber. Proceed with caution. Okay, I'm gonna do a fucking review on fucking Sonic Advance 1 where it fucking starts a fucking advanced series where they fucking think it's all fucking classic but it's not fucking classic because it fucking sucks. I'm gonna make the easiest guess ever. You said that because it doesn't have classic Sonic in it. Oh boy, you really do have something for classic Sonic. I mean, you start out as a fucking Sonic with the fucking uh, dreadlock fucking quills that fucking people want to shove up their ass because they're fucking Sonic bags and fucking like this fucking green eyed fucking shit that fucking buckles on their fucking shoes. I mean, that's fucking gay. And then when you start this fucking game, you fucking. You just run, it looks like you're walking like an old cartoon ready to be pissed off. It's fucking gay. And then when you start running your full speed, it looks like he's fucking tall as fuck with little wheel legs. It's fucking retarded. <laughs> uh, Dreadlock fucking quills. He walks like an old cartoon. He's tall as fuck with little wheel legs. It's fucking retarded. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> wow, you're funny. They should have used the fucking classic Sonic in this game. They should have had the black eyed Sonic with the body proportions and the good running. They should have used this fucking fag Sonic. It's fucking gay. And then when you get the fucking, uh, you get the fucking brass, all the time you have a fucking hammer. Fucking sucks. Are you talking about the first Eggman boss? Or are you talking about Amy's gameplay? I'm confused. All it does is a fucking hammer and it's just fucking gay and, and the bad mix in this fucking game look fucking retarded. Fucking gay! So let's get started with the fucking gameplay in this fucking game. It's fucking stupid. You run, but it's so fucking slow as fuck and the fucking rings look fucking huge. I mean, it's fucking gay. I had no problem running in this game. And how are the rings huge? They're practically the same size. They should have used the TV monitors, not this fucking castle bullshit. And they should have used, uh, fucking good bonus stages, not this fucking, uh, fucking snowboarding, fucking falling from the fucking sky. I mean, it's fucking retarded. Durr, how should I make a review? Oh yeah, say that the game has to be just like Sonic 1 by saying not only it has to have the presence of classic Sonic, but also the TV monitors and the rotating special stages. That'll show them how cool I am. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop being foolish. Did you really expect this game to be just like Sonic 1? If so, may I ask what's wrong with you? If every single Sonic game was just like the first game, the franchise would get extremely repetitive and outdated. Moving on. I mean, when you fucking get the fucking seventh fucking emerald in this fucking game, you don't go Super Sonic right away. You gotta fucking wait until the fucking final level that fucking turn Super Sonic. A fucking second fucking level, fucking you know, fucking waiting to the fucking final level to fucking turn fucking Super Sonic. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Congratulations, Mario to fucker. You contradicted yourself yet again. First, you said that Super Sonic sucks because it's a ripoff of Dragon Ball Z. Then you're bitching about how you can't use Super Sonic until the final level. Wow, don't you love it when people are hypocrites? <sighs> this game makes me so fucking mad. I mean, I fucking ruined the fucking fucking people think of fucking classic Sonic. The fucking modern fucking fans think this is fucking classic Sonic. It's fucking not. It's not even fucking close. In a sense, it's classic Sonic, because the first Sonic Advance borrows elements from the Genesis slash Mega Drive Sonic games. You can spin dash unless you're playing as Amy, you can use the Insta Shield as Sonic, you can fly as Tails, and you can glide and climb walls as Knuckles. Oh wait, I shouldn't be mentioning Tails and Knuckles because you hate them. My bad. This game fucking sucks, and they even have the fucking audacity to fucking use the fucking music in the fucking, uh, Sonic Advance, like the fucking Scratch Brain Zone, the fucking Starlight Zone, of this fucking game. Fucking sucks, it's not fucking classic Sonic, they can wish out they want, but it won't be classic Sonic until they use the fucking good design to fucking use the loops and stuff, and the fucking good level design, that's this fucking bullshit where you just run right and, you know, fucking beat the level, final level with the fucking hammer, Dr. Robotic, I mean, it fucking sucks. 
The Starlight and Scrap Brain music remixes are alright, but I do agree that I like the original versions better. But once again, I am not going to repeat myself over and over again about the classic Sonic design. And then, uh, we have to do the fucking extra in this fucking game where it fucking connects to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Okay, this is where it gets fucking retarded. You fucking get a fucking Nether Child fucking Garden in a fucking fall game for fucking Sonic Adventure, the fucking Child Garden. Why do I have fucking play fucking Child Garden with fucking game? Fucking sucks! And then Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, when you fucking get your child, Fucking gay, I mean, all I had to do is fucking throw them and fucking kill them until they fucking die and fucking go in their fucking pads and fucking die! Oh my god, they put in the Chow Garden. This game sucks! Even though it's completely optional, just like in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2! I fucking hate the fucking. fucking Sonic Advance fucking series. It fucking sucks! And it gets a fucking negative 10 out of 10 and fucking gay! I mean, they should have did the fucking Sonic 1 design, they should have did the fucking Sonic 1 level design, they should have did the fucking Sonic 1 story. I mean, they don't fucking need the fucking characters that are fucking useless as fuck! Well then, if you want classic Sonic so badly on the Game Boy Advance, I've got a little present for you. Go on, I dare you! I mean, this fucking game fucking sucks, this fucking series sucks, and when Sonic Colors comes out, it's gonna be a fucking failure, and fucking Sonic Force fucking failure, it's a fucking Sonic 4 wannabe, it's just fucking Sonic Rush on steroids, and it just fucking rips off everything, Sonic Colors rips off Sonic fucking Unleashed, the fucking worst fucking 3D Sonic game ever. So Sega rips off one of their own games. That makes total sense. And listen to his wonderful last statement of the video. So they taste the video games, you fucking f Well, that sure was fun commentating another one of his masterpieces by Mario to Plumber. And by masterpieces, I meant masterpieces of total shit. I had more fun watching a goofy movie than this pile of dung. All he does in his videos is keep whining about the character design for a blue fictional hedgehog that runs at high speeds. What kind of insane person would do that? Everyone knows that the gameplay is the most important aspect of any game. Not the character design, not the graphics, not the difficulty, the gameplay. Well anyways, this is Super Mario Kenny saying goodbye and hope you enjoyed my commentaries.